Hi, I'm Sue Hausman, and I've been asked to share with you a revolutionary new tool for sewing free motion, embroidery free motion, and quilting free motion, and that is the Fabu Motion. The Fabu Motion is a textured surface that will actually help you not get those neck aches from free motion sewing ever again. And the exciting thing is that it fits many, many different sewing machines and many, many different brands of sewing machines from the very basic models to the top of the line. And it's designed to help free motion sewers move their fabric easily. Now maybe some of you are wondering just what free motion sewing is. So before we demonstrate how to use your Fabu Motion, we're going to show a little bit about free motion. Here you see a beautiful wall hanging. It could be a full size quilt. And we've done some uh, ink work to create the flower design using a stencil. But when you get really close in, you see that there's stipple stitching that was done with a free motion technique. And free motion adds the detail in the petals of the flowers and around the petals of the flowers. Free motion means that you're moving the fabric. The feed teeth are down and you use a foot that allows you to move the fabric freely. Notice this beautiful pillow panel with the fish done in glittery, glittery thread. Isn't that beautiful? Certainly much prettier with all of that beautiful free motion detail in the glitter thread than a plain one might be with no embellishment on it at all. You now can easily take your plain pillow panel and add stitching with your Fabu Motion to create wonderful one-of-a-kind art pieces. Now, this is easy. You took it out of the box and you found that you had a black platform and you want to slide that onto your sewing machine. I would suggest that you remove an accessory tray if you have an accessory tray that slides on or is a part of your sewing machine. So take off that accessory tray. And then let me slide it off so that I can show you a little bit. You'll want to raise the foot to the highest position. Some of you will have an extra lift on your presser foot to be able to lift the foot up. But when you received it in your box, of course, you got this DVD, you got complete instructions, and you have your Fabu Motion. Fabu Motion, and it is a surface for free motion. So place it on a firm surface. You don't do this on a card table. You could, but it would be much easier on a nice firm sewing table. And so you'll want to slide it onto your sewing machine. And so you'll slide the surface underneath, and you'll see there's a little cutout right here that allows you to slide it a little easier under the foot if you line that up with the foot itself to slide it on. And of course, depending on the brand and the type of your machine, you'll want to just slide that tray or surface right over your free arm. Then set your machine on the base. Now, the first time you put it on, you'll want to find the best position for your sewing machine because every sewing machine is a little different. So you will go through the full movement of the Fabu Motion and you'll see where to position it so that it will never come to the foot. In other words, you'll always have the foot in an open area. And what I would suggest is the first time you position it that you mark a line on the base part of the actual plate to show where your sewing machine works perfectly. So move it to the four corners. Here we're at that corner and our foot is almost touching that corner so we might move up just a little bit so that that wouldn't ever have the foot hitting the edge of the actual opening. Now on some machines you'll have much more space and you'll be able to cover this whole area in your quilting area. It will just depend on your sewing machine. But The main thing is to be sure that the foot is not going to hit the metal as you're moving it around. And I will say that the next step of course is going to be to set up for free motion and we will be covering up the opening that we sew in. 
and everybody's fear is that they are going to hit that metal. But now you know from your first positioning that you will never hit the metal, okay? Because the foot can't hit it because of where you're positioned. Now, set up your sewing machine for free motion. This is something that you'll want to go to your instruction book that came with your machine. Look up either free motion or darning. And the first thing you'll want to do is drop the feed teeth or cover the feed teeth with a plate. It depends on the brand of your machine and the model as to whether you cover those feed dogs or feed teeth or whether you lower them with a lever either on the back or the side or inside. Lower the feed dogs or feed teeth. If you have adjustable presser foot pressure on your machine, set your pressure to zero to the darning position. And again, your book will tell you this for sure. Select a straight stitch and you are ready to go, except that you'll want to be sure to put on a foot for free motion sewing. Now this particular foot has a little bar that comes up over the needle clamp screw. There are lots of different feet depending on your brand of sewing machine. And so what you'll want to do is look in the book or go to your sewing machine store and ask them what foot for free motion darning or free motion quilting and they'll be happy to help you. Again, we'll want to use a quality thread and threads are sky's the limit and usually when we're quilting and looking at both sides we'll match the bobbin to the top thread or if you're just doing something where the top is going to show you might use a white bobbin thread. So again, many different tips. When you use fancy threads, we usually suggest a top stitch needle, and especially if you're quilting through batting layers, either a quilting needle or a top stitching needle will definitely make it easier for you in a size 14 or a 16 so that you poke a large enough hole in the fabric and the batting that the thread doesn't get frayed going in and out as you do your free motion. So put in a new needle, size 14 to 16 quilting needle, quality thread top and bobbin. Your fab you motion is in place. Your free motion foot is on and you select a straight stitch. It's that easy to set up to begin to do free motion with your new fab you motion. Now normally when we do free motion, quilting especially, or something where we'll see the wrong side, we want to bring up that bobbin thread. So you can either turn the hand wheel to do that, or if your machine has a needle stop up, needle stop down button, like this one does, then press that needle stop up, needle stop down, and that will bring your bobbin thread up to the top so that you're ready to go. Now we're going to step on the foot control, and the one thing that we want to remember whenever we do free motion sewing, that this is not going to set a stitch length in any way. We don't have any feed dogs feeding. <laughs> we don't have any stitch regulator on this model of Fabu Motion. So we are setting the stitch length, I am, as I move it. Here's the other thing that's so important. And fortunately, my emerald, which is a Husqvarna Viking model, reminds me that I had not lowered the presser foot. Now you may have a lever at the back, you may have a lever at the side, but you must put the presser foot down before you begin sewing because that will engage the top tension. And if you have no tension on the top thread, you'll have big knots underneath. So if you should see that you have a lot of thread bunching up underneath, I would guess that you've forgotten to lower the, the top, uh, the presser foot bar. So lower the foot. Even though you can't really see much happening, the foot doesn't look like it goes up and down, it closes the tension discs on the thread. Now, as we step on the foot control, take a few stitches in place to get started. And then what I would suggest, if you have a needle stop down on your machine, touch the needle stop down and set it to stop always with the needle stop down. Clip away those threads and you are ready to go. Again now, you can run the machine slowly, you can run the machine fast, but the faster you run the machine and the faster you move the fabric, the more your stitching is going to change in length. If I want long stitches, I'll move this fabric very fast. If I want short stitches, I'll move the fabric more slowly. And so as you can see, we have now 
free motion sewing and free motion stippling that easy. Again, if you stop with that needle down, you'll have it easy. Now, here's the beauty of the Fabu Motion. The fact that you don't have to push at the fabric to feed it in free motion. Normally in free motion, we're pushing at the fabric to make it go through, which means we have a lot of work with our hands pushing the fabric, our wrists, our arms, but even more so, our shoulders. In other words, we have a lot of this motion when we're doing free motion quilting and free motion sewing without the Fabu motion. We found that the Fabu motion made free motion sewing and quilting a breeze. No more aches and pains because we simply move the Fabu motion. That's the only thing that has to move and you don't have to move the fabric or push at the fabric as you're sewing. So if you would like to do stippling, if you'd like to do rings, if you'd like to do flowers, you simply move your fabric motion. Now when it's time to go to a new spot, you don't have to push the fabric or pull it. You simply stop with the needle down and move the Fabu motion to the next area. Now, for those of you that would like to be able to see a little better what you're doing, there's also an accessory available. Let me cut my top thread so that I can get that in. Raise that presser foot and that will make your top thread easy to pull. Remember, I had the tension engaged. But if you want to go now to a new place and begin, you can position it. But if you would like to use the fabric mover guide. This will be put in place and will help you in your holding it in place and in knowing exactly where you're sewing. So place, sold as an accessory, place the fabric mover guide on top of your fabric and now here again begin sewing, lower that presser foot and begin sewing and now we can do our free motion. I will remind you that you are doing the stitch length. Keep that in mind that there is no stitch regulator when you purchase the Fabu Motion as an individual tool as we have here. So when you go fast, your stitches will be long, and when you go slowly, your stitches will be short. But the thing that I want to continually remind you of is that when you've filled an area, stop with that needle down and simply don't push and pull at the fabric. Simply reach under and pull your Fabu motion to the next area you want to quilt or stitch or embellish and then move your fabric mover guide and now you can go right ahead and go to the next place. Now, the other huge advantage of the Fabu motion is that because you're never pushing and pulling at the fabric, you will not have the puckers on the underside that you get when you're pushing and pulling and quilting. And we'll take a look at that as we stop because when you look at the underside, you will see, well, you know what? I'm gonna take it out so that you can see even better that when we look at the other side of our work, we don't have puckers and tucks that you get in a lot of quilting. We just have the dimension of the quilting. And so that's what makes your Fabu Motion so easy to use and so convenient. And again, it fits most machine models. Simply put it on and be sure that you're set up so that you have the widest range of motion within that area and then set up for free motion and you're ready to go. Now I'd love to show you just a few more things you can do with your Fabu Motion. And so we talked a little bit about pillow panels, but you could also use a zigzag stitch. So let's slide our fabric underneath. And in this case, we'll select the zigzag and we'll go ahead and use a zigzag stitch instead of a straight stitch. So that if you wanted to do some free motion with the zigzag stitch, possibly a fill stitch or a, a, a leaf, or if you wanted to go back and forth and create some texture on something, you can select other stitches on your machine and continue to use the Fabu Motion to create the texture and the free motion look. 
a wider zigzag, a shorter zigzag. Here's an example of a little scene done on a printed fabric with a zigzag stitch and the fabumotion to give that textured look and some beautiful detail to your free motion work. Here's another couple of cute fabrics that would work really, really well for this. And I wanted to point out that in this case, we have some leaves that we fabumotioned from the right side. And then on the wrong side, we have the same leaves, but this time in the shimmery thread that we have on the underside because of the way the leaves were stitched from the top side. This done with a straight stitch. There's all kinds of cute little prints out there. There's jungle prints, there's kids prints. Think about it, you could make an all over quilt with little airplanes and then just simply stitch around the whole cloth quilt airplanes to create a, an airplane for your kids. Um, the sunflower, one of our favorites, the instructions for this are on the HusqvarnaViking.com website. You can do beautiful free motion embroidery, embellishing pictures. There are all kinds of instruction books for quilting free motion where you can mark your quilt top and most of these are continuous line quilting from Golden Threads. Check your local store for that. One of our favorite projects is to take a big print and fabu motion that straight stitch around the large pieces and then trim away raw edge applique with fabu motion. How about the inks, Sukaneko inks to paint or ink on a pretty little design and then fabu motion with pretty threads. In this case, the, the sulky rayon threads or the Robeson Anton rayon threads right over that design done to create that free motion. Couple more projects that are on the website that you can go and get. Here's a jacket that was a purchase jacket and a purchase scarf. Just lay that scarf on and fabu motion, free motion with that straight stitch around the scarf and then trim away the excess and you have a beautiful embellished jacket with roses front and back. Maybe you're more the jean jacket style. Another scarf concept where we actually have a scarf design, lay it on, stitch around the design in the scarf, trim away the excess. And notice that there's lots of just kind of loose free motion stitching around that. Remember, your fabu motion means you can do this with such ease, no neck aches, no shoulder aches, just smooth fabu motion as you do your free motion stitching. Even my husband Herb got excited about the new fabu motion and took a man's jean jacket and laid on some little guys from the north these Malmutes from Alaska and Fabu motioned them right in place. Again, the raw edge applique concept. So there are so many things. The young people love this scarf and you might just leave a tail hanging off the end. Here was the scarf hem. So you can see that the sky is the limit to create whether you're a stippler, a quilter, a free motion embroiderer, whether you want to add embellishment to your clothing, you can do it with the new Fabu Motion. Happy free motioning! <laughs>